Hey together and welcome to a new episode of my Cakewalk by Band Lab series. Today we're talking about a quick grouping, grouping of tracks, um, the offset mode, simple automation. And I think that's it. Okay, let's dive right into it. <laughs> Hey, here's a track of mine that I did back in 2016 or 17 for Universal Music. It has been and it's still being used on global TV worldwide. First have a listen, um, maybe to the first minute or so. jump to the end of the track because it's basically the second half is basically a repetition of the first half with some variations maybe jump right there <laughs> I hope you'll like it. I like it a lot. Um, maybe some words to the production of this track. This is a, a recording of a, a live cello player that has been playing different sizes of cello. Um, though, so it's a bit misleading if you see this um, when you see these track names: violin one, violin two, viola, cello, and contrabass, a uh, double bass. Uh, the reality was these have been all cellos um, and I mixed these up with samples to have an even bigger and um, brighter sound. Yeah, and these are the final um, stems for mixing. No, these are the final mixed stems for mastering. Okay, mm, first of all, maybe uh, we want to see a bit more of all the tracks. We could uh, do this by selecting all tracks, hitting the, I think the control key. <laughs> yeah, and then dragging the separator of between the tracks and drag it to your liking. A different way would be um, just to hit the shift key and in my case, the letter F on my keyboard. Then all the tracks are stretched out to the the space that's available and to even have more space on your canvas you could um, press the letter C on your keyboard then the transport section and uh, the whole um, toolbar yeah, toolbar is the correct word uh, is hidden now I'm hitting uh, shift and F again yeah now I do see all my tracks stretched out to the whole canvas. First of all, um, these, uh, as you can see, there is for every instrument, there's echo. Uh, th this this means uh, the, the strings are played with a bow. Pizzicato, this is, uh, I think, self-explanatory. The strings are plucked with your fingers and maybe some runs also played with the bow, um, except the Contra, the double bass, there we only have the pizzicato. Maybe let's say we only want to hear the pizzicatos. We're just selecting the pizzicatos. 
with uh, holding down the control key during selecting and keep the control key pressed on the keyboard and now you can uh, hit any any control or any knob or drag any slider on the selected tracks and uh, this is then applied to all selected tracks if you hold down simultaneously the control key i'm hitting solo well you see only the selected tracks are soloed i'm hitting mute all the selected tracks are muted i'm tracking the volume of all selected tracks no only of one but all selected tracks are affected i'm tracking the panorama and stuff like that this is uh, called this feature is called quick group if you hit the control key uh, and you have multiple tracks selected then you're building a quick group and uh, then you can use this feature of uh, adjusting several parameters of every selected track simultaneously even if you let's say uh, the volume of the violin one pizzicato is a bit louder than the other selected tracks if you then hold down the control key and uh, you track maybe let's say this slider then you can see that the volume values of the pizzicato one is changed relative to the other ones they're uh, reaching infinity <laughs> at the same point if you're going to let's say uh, at zero decibel by double clicking the volume slider then we're back again at 3.9 okay that's a cool very nice little feature um you could also do this by sending all the pizzicato uh, tracks to one pizzicato aux track or a bus but uh, if you don't want that you just want maybe you just want to apply the volume of several tracks simultaneously that's a very fast way of doing so as we have just spoken about um, soloing and muting you can also um, you can also solo or mute um, um, several adjacent is this the right word neighboring tracks okay if you just hit the solo button of let's say this this let's say the second track and you keep the left mouse button pressed and then you're tracking just across all the neighboring tracks then these are soloed as well if you go back these are unsoloed again you can do the same with a with a mute button it's also a very nice handy little feature okay um speaking about quick grouping you could of course you can of course uh, build groups of, of controls of of different tracks let's say you, we want to group all the arcos okay we're just hitting the control key on your keyboard for selecting several tracks and then you could right click the volume slider and then hit group and then you can choose uh, a name for the group abc or the letters of the alphabet let's say you want to go for a and now you have built up a group of all the arcos and you can see if you drag one volume slider all the others are moving simultaneously and this is also very useful if you don't want to build an aux or a bus track but uh, if you are within this group and you just see that's all that all these volume sliders are at the same volume but you decide to maybe you want to have the violin one a bit louder you could hit the i guess the shift key no the control key yeah you can hit the control key and then adjust only this one this one slider without affecting the other ones inside this group and then you can release this and now you can uh, you see that the this is uh, uh, that the volume faders are moving relative to each other 
Okay, now I'm going back to the same value as the other ones. Minus 4.8. Yeah. Um, if you hit the uh, volume slider that we just made a crew buff uh, with, a ref, with, with the right mouse button, you can clear this group up. You can remove this one from the group so that the other ones stay within the group. Or you do have a group manager. Inside of this group manager, you can uh, define whether the sliders are mov moving absolute or relative or custom to each other. Custom. You can define a start or end value. You could, let's say, we do have the track 4. And we want, have, want to have the start value at 127 and the end value at 0. Then hit OK. Let's see what happens. Gain 4 it was. Yeah, and now you see you see that these are uh, moving in different directions. Okay, can you see that? I guess. Okay, heading again uh, with the red, red, right mouse button. Sorry. Um, to get into the group manager. Yeah. Let's revert this again. Let's go back to these initial values. Okay. Mm, that's for the groups. Let's go back to 0 decibel on every track. Let's delete the group, clear the group. Mm, what uh, do I want to talk further on to this little video today okay yeah um if you're up to if, if you want to automate some sliders some some features some some controls in your track you could just hit let's say this volume slider with the right mouse button hit remote control and then you could define which incoming information is controlling this volume slider let's say we're choosing the mod wheel this is uh, by standard by, by default it's a uh, controller midi controller number one as said here you could also hit learn and then uh, move the slider you want to have okay i'm just hitting learn and um dragging the uh the modulation wheel hit okay and now you can see uh why is this the case I don't know. Maybe I did this in a, in the preparation for the video that this one is also moving by modulation wheel. Okay, let's deactivate this. Okay, now I can activate. I know I'm, I'm I can control the volume slider of this track with my modulation wheel, and I can record this by uh, hitting automation right. Per default, it's turned off. Just hit it, and then hit play okay i'm i'm soloing this so that you can hear what i'm doing and just hit the transport the, the the space bar for starting the playback not recording just hitting the playback starting the playback and now i'm moving the modulation wheel and you can see that during I'm moving the during my movement and during the playback the automation envelope is drawn in okay hitting stop zoom it in a bit say so there you do have your volume envelope okay i'm undoing this again um deactivate the automation ride um, and per default, the automation read for reading the automation during playback is turned on. This this makes sense, obviously. Um, oh, let's let's undo this. Let's redo this this recording. Um, let's say um, you're satisfied with with the way the the automation is drawn in. <laughs> But you want to have, um, you want to keep this automation, but you want to have this whole track in general a bit louder or a bit softer. Um, there are some, I can remember two ways of doing this. Mm -hmm. 
One way would be blend in the automation lane. Yeah, okay, there it is, there it is. You can just select everything and just drag it to the top or to the bottom. Okay, that's one way. A simpler way, uh, not touching the, the automation envelope, would be hitting the O key, O, on your keyboard, um, enters the offset mode. And you can see that this, uh, that all the volume information is here uh, changed to a volume with a plus. And this is indicated that you are this is indicating that you are in the offset mode of cakewalk. I'm hitting over again. That's the normal mode. There you can see that the volume of track two is currently at minus twelve point four. If I'm hitting offset O, mm, it's again at zero. And this is a kind of uh, this is the offset of the volume. There you can define uh, 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 there you can define a change of the volume of the whole drag. If I'm turning it down, the whole drag will be turned down by, let's say in this case, minus 4 dB, in this case, plus 6 dB. And there you can turn down independently of the drawn in automation envelope the volume of the relevant track. I'm doing this a lot because I'm dealing a lot with automation and sometimes you decide, yeah, automation is fine, but the whole track should be a bit softer, a bit quieter, a bit louder. Then I'm hitting O for offset mode and uh, then I'm um, adjusting the overall volume of this track. Okay, leaving offset mode. And I think that's for now. Um, I covered some topics. Uh, next one will be maybe again automating Mm, we'll see. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Have fun. See you next time.